Oh, this is going to be a good one. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is John from Donk TCG, and today we're dealing with Garchomp, the fighting type Garchomp. Finally, he's been released, and he's got some friends. Riolu um, Lucario was in the deck before, but now we have this GX Lucario, and it is awesome. We also have the new Diancy Prism Star in here as well as nope that is all of the new cards that is all of the new cards we have in here literally dianzi prism star and garshop fighting type and the fighting type line leading up to it but this is a cool one guys this is a really cool deck gonna get a lot more a lot more focus on the riolos we're actually playing four riolos here with a 2-2 split of the gx for that aura strike attack when you evolve this pokemon from riolo during this turn it does 90 more damage doing 120 damage for one energy which is easily boosted by things like Strong Energy, by Dynasty Prism Star, and by Choice Band. So, really, really nice um, attack there. Can hit stupid good numbers really, really quick. And it also provides the GX for this deck. Um, Cantankerous Beatdown doing 30 damage times the amount of uh, damage counters on this Pokemon. So, if your opponent fails to knock you out, you can do such big damage with this. And again, you can boost it with all the regular... Uh, boosting things like strong energy, choice band, dynasty prism star. There's also Lucario, and if there's a Garchomp in play, you could just search your deck for any card and put it in your hand. That's so so broken. It's so powerful. Getting the Garchomp set up is reasonably hard, but I mean it's just a rare candy away from a Gibble. You know that's fine. We can do that. We can live with that. Um, being a fighting type as well, Brooklet Hill is now open to this deck and Gibble loves it, Riolu loves it and it's a really nice way to get the deck set up and going. However, we also play a couple of Nest Ball and we're also going to rock out with the Lone Vulpix just in case. Nice starting Pokemon to have just to beacon up for two Pokemon and get them into your hand. Things like Garchomp, things like Lucario, really really nice way to set that up. We're also going to play one of these breakpoint garchomps uh, the turbo assault attack doing 60 damage and being able to attach an energy card from your discard pile to one of your pokemon is really really nice um the second attack bite off is really just for ex pokemon does an extra 80 damage to ex pokemon we're not really going to use that unless we come against some sort of volcanian deck um because there are no exes in the game at the moment that are actually making such an impact that i would expect to see them being played um but yeah, but that, that Turbo Assault being able to be boosted by Diancy, by Choice Band, by Strong Energy. We're going to keep coming back to this because it's a real, real powerful, powerful um, boosting engine to really get those one shots nice and easy. We play one Tapu Lele, making this deck relatively cheap. Um, if you've only got the one Tapu Lele, it's perfect. If you don't have Tapu Lele, you can definitely omit it. And put in maybe another Alolan Vulpix, maybe another Nest Ball, just to help with the consistency of the deck. I would definitely consider doing something like that and making this a, just a non Tapu Lele deck with your only GXs being these Lucario GX that we do, as I say, play two of. As far as energy goes, we're going to play four uh, Strong Energy, four Double Colorless Energy, and two Fighting Energy. The Double Colorless Energy being for the Cantankerous Beatdown, as we already discussed. And this Royal Blades attack on Garchomp. And also Quick Dive, but Royal Blades mostly. Um, 100 damage. If you played Cynthia from your hand during this turn, another 100 damage. 200 damage straight away if you have Choice Band, Diancy Prism Star. 250 damage already. So you're knocking out anything in the game. With this one prize, 150 HP Garchomp, the thing is broken. The thing is super good. Let's just let's stop talking and let's get into some matches. See what we get here. Fighting Fairy Psychic. Normal Fighting Fairy Psychic. Probably Espeon. Uh, Guardy, maybe. Maybe Guardy. Um, which is pretty cool uh, because we can hit the numbers to knock out Guardy. So let's see what we can do here. We start Riolu. It's not the greatest start in the world. But we can live with it. We have an Ultra Ball for potential. Um, extra cards probably going to grab something like a gibble from that and then oh we get the gibble anyway so ev ralts does suggest it's a, a pretty heavy guardy build um let's see what we can do here what do we want to get rid of with the ultra ball nothing really but we can afford to lose maybe the garchomp 
Do we want to lose the Garchomp this early? Yeah, without knowing my prizes, let's just ditch that because we can always get it back with like Puzzle of Time or something. See what our prizes are. I didn't want to get rid of the Lucario just in case it was prized. Um, all the Pokemon line look pretty much intact. We're not missing all that much. Maybe one Gibble, which is not so bad. I'm probably mind down the Ryola with this. Um, let's see what our support line looks like. All our Synthes are there. Awesome. Okay, we're missing one, uh, two strong energy. We're missing one double colorless energy. And that's not so bad. Okay. All of them are there. Missing one puzzle of time as well. Okay. And then this Ryolu. Probably going to be the card I go for. Yeah, because we can't attack this turn. So we'll grab Ryolu. Ryolu is going to be really, really nice in this deck just to hit the big knockouts and we also need it for the the um ability on the Garchomp or with the Garchomp. That's a really nice hand to get. It's a really, really nice hand to get. Let's get down another Gibble just in case we end up losing Garchomp this turn. He's just gonna want to bridge it this turn. Um but we do have the Ultra Ball to get ourselves a potential supporter for next turn with the Lele. And we also have the Garchomp for next turn as well. Although what we can actually do is Ultra Ball for the Lucario and simply just um, grab the supporter with that and then we might not lose as many cards. Let's see what we can do here. Probably going to want to use Lucario GX this turn. Um, he won't be able to take a knockout on this Sylveon, but Sylveon won't be able to knock him out in return. Um, the problem is that um, they won't be able to get to like 210 damage this turn or next turn rather and magical ribbon so we're going to want it in we're going to want it in this turn unfortunately i did discard an in already um but we can we can maybe double puzzle actually if need be let's see what we can do here so first things first we're going to want to get our car chump up What did we get rid of earlier? Yeah, okay. So, we can Ultra Ball away the Ultra Ball and a Rare Candy, unfortunately. And we're going to want an N, aren't we? So, we've got an N here. We could tap a Lele for it, or we can use Lucario for it. And I think I'd rather use Lucario uh, to grab the N with this. This way, we're not putting the Lele onto the bench, so that's one less thing to worry about. Um, but I really need to start getting some energy down on the board. Honestly, if we got something like Energy Lucario GX, that would be amazing. Because um, I would at least get to attack this turn. Uh, and we actually do get that. It's in a bit of a roundabout way, but we can Ultra Ball for it. So we have the Super Rod here, so the first thing I'm going to do is literally just discard this. And even the Lele, yeah, the Lele can go too. And we'll grab our Lucario GX. So we got rid of his hand. We did pretty well with that. We're going to attach energy. We're going to evolve. And we're going to be able to do a 120 damage with this. Let's nest ball out another. Do we be happy doing 120 damage? Or we want to do 140? Yes, we want to do 140. Just in case something happens to this, we can get the knockout with Quick Dive that way. And we can Super Rod back our three Pokemon that are in the discard pile. And leaving us with a zero card hand, but because we have this precognitive aura, it's really not that bad. <laughs> so, Aura Strike next turn is going to do 50 damage, which sadly isn't enough for a knockout. However, that's really not that bad. We're all we need to do is find a fighting energy or a strong energy or a choice band and we'll be able to knock out with the auto strike anyway. However, double colorless energy and quick dive and we're able to knock out with Garchomp as well, just by attacking into the active. Since Dancy Prism will boost that damage to 70 on the active. So Guardi is coming down, okay. So even getting rid of his magical ribbon, he was still able to get Guardi out. 
but Guardi's going to need a turn or two to build itself up, and a magical ribbon seals that fate. Um, he's still going to need a couple of turns to set up. 150 damage is pretty easy for Guardi to hit because I'm going to need three energy on me, so that's that's really not a card I wanted to see. Precognitive Aura, we're going to need a supporter here, so why don't we grab we'll grab another N and just get rid of his Magical Ribbon once more. Um, not the best, I don't really want to keep N in him, um, but it gets rid of his Magical Ribbon at least. And this is pretty good, this is a pretty good little hand here. I'm going to be able to knock out with Aura Strike. Um, unfortunately, I missed Choice Band, or I would be able to attach back here. Uh, we will Brickle Elm, and we'll grab down another Ryolu. And, yeah, unfortunately, I am going to have to use Aura Strike here. And we get a little heart from my opponent, meaning there's a chance that he's got Knockout, unfortunately. But we do have double puzzle, so we can actually bring back the Lucario. Secret springs down an energy. Really? Are you just gonna knock me out with Gardevoir? That would suck. <laughs> Field blows away my Brooklet Hill. One, two, three, four, five energies is one fifty. Ultra Ball. Gonna find another Oranguru. He's going for it, man. Thing is, if he misses the knockout, then I can just GX and knock him out in return. But something tells me he's not missing this knockout. Oh god. <laughs> Sycamore comes down as well. Oh my opponent's going for it. That's seven energy. Yeah, he's already got knockout. He's already getting a knockout here. But that's a lot of energy. That's a lot, a lot of energy. Okay, so he hits for 120. I want a Tapu Lele here. Tapu Lele with 1, 2, 7. Tapu Lele with 7 energy and a choice band will do like 170. But that means he can just knock me out. He's got too much energy on that thing, that's ridiculous. Um. Yeah, we'll double puzzle. We'll double puzzle. Let's just get back the Lucario and one strong energy. Unfortunately, Garchomp is not going to be able to attack again this turn. Because we're going to attack with this. We can attach Choice Band just to make the knockout a little bit easier next turn for us. We can Precognitive Aura for... What do we want? What helps me here? I'm going to grab one puzzle and then that means that the following turn I can precog again for another puzzle and I can get two of whatever I want. I've not used the supporter this turn. It's okay. So we're doing as much damage as we can at the moment with Aura Strike. Going to be a 190 attack it's not enough to knock out however that means that quick dive can knock out next turn and he's put a lot of energy onto this thing a lot a lot of energy so if he wants to put another energy on there he will knock me out um or a choice band but again it's, he's putting a lot into just knocking out one pokemon and he is going to do it secret spring so at the moment he takes a lead in prizes however he will be behind as little as as early as next turn because I will be able to um, just bring up this and knock him out. Uh, because he's only got 40 HP left. So, we'll attach this here. I'm gonna. Can I precog for another puzzle? Would that help? Uh, what would I what would I get? Rare candy, Ultra Ball, yeah, and then that means I've got another Garchomp in play. So we'll precog for 
a puzzle. It's a really roundabout way of doing this, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's use up the resources of my discard pile. And we'll precog, we'll grab a rare candy and we'll grab an ultra ball. And the ultra ball will discard the Alolan Vulpix and the Sycamore, I think, would probably be the best thing to discard. Because we're going to probably want a Cynthia next turn. Ultra Ball is great. Another Garchomp up into play. The only problem with Garchomp is that it is a two energy attachment to get the thing rolling. And we're going to just quick dive into the active slot. I don't want a Cynthia here because I want to save the Cynthia for next turn so that I can hit that big 200 damage attack if possible. Sylveon is going to come active. Does that mean he's just going to Magical Ribbon? Is he going to try and get her? Oh, he gets another Guardian to play. <laughs> oh, Gardevoir, you're so tough. So... If he puts the Guardi active, I can knock it out. However, I need a lot to knock it out. I can knock Sylveon out easily. The issue is that it's a two energy attachment. And what is he going to do here? He only gets one prize for knocking out anything on my board. So it does give me that free turn to try and win the game. I'm hoping he does something like... Actually, I don't want him a Guzma. I was going to say I hope he, hopefully he does something like a Guzma, but that's not going to help me much because I need to do both Cynthia and Detaching Energy. I've got the win in hand. I've got the win in hand. All I need, I just need him to pass turn now. I'm trying just Magical Ribbon or something, dude. Come on. Did he see? He did oh, he did a little heart earlier, didn't he? Let's give him a little face, try and speed him up a little bit. So, five energy between us does take the knockout, doesn't it? 150. Does he have a retreat? That's what I want to know. Do you have a retreat? He has a Guzma. Gonna knock out my Diancy. Okay. Okay. I see why. Oh, he doesn't actually knock out. Ah. Okay. So now, what do? I can do 200 damage, but I can't do 200 damage with, uh, oh, I need to both S Cynthia and Guzma and that's not possible. I don't play Floatstone, do I? One Floatstone in this deck would be just so nice. Mm. So frustrating. I'm gonna drop a Ryolu. Let's drop a Ryolu into play. Um and then we'll put Problem is I can't retreat that thing. I'm gonna put a strong energy on this Garchomp because it means that if Diancy goes down, we're putting all our eggs onto the Garchomp to be really honest. If Gar if Diancy goes down, I can attach another strong energy and get the knockout on Guardi. But I can't retreat with Diancy, that's so frustrating. Oh no, what's Wonder Tag bringing? Wonder Tag for Guzma? Oh no! Why? Mm. And Garchomp's going to get knocked out here. Right, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. I now need so much more to knock him out. I can... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can... I need two cards. I need Lucario GX and I need Guzma. How many Guzma have I got left? All of them. Right, this has free retreat. Choice band. So it's not that. Okay. 
So I'm now going to need to attack into the Guardi. We're going to need to make him knock out another Lucario GX. That's, that's what's going to have to happen here. Yeah. Give him everything he needs to just try and knock out. My opponent has four cards in hand. That's that's going to be enough, I think. Well, Cynthia. Nothing I can use. Aura Strike. Come now. Can you knock out this? Can you Guzma? How many Guzma has he used? Two. What was that? Acerola. Oh. Why? <laughs> Why is a roller? Thing is, we don't have any way to accelerate energies, so we can't even do like a, a big cyclone kick or something next turn. Oh, that was such a big ace roller. Yeah, he just he can put out Curly and just start evolving up again. Can he play the two shot game with me though? If he attacks me once, he's now going to do like 60 damage. Is he. He doesn't have knockout, surely. Twilight. I thought he was going to attack me there. Um. So. All he needs is he needs a Guzma for game. That's that's what's so frustrating about this. He needs a Guzma for game. I need I'm doing 30, 60, 80 damage. He just grabs all of his good stuff back. Two Guzmas, yeah. What do we have left? Stop! Timer! Timer literally come up before I could even press anything there. I've got Guzma and deck still. Do I even need it? Not really. Oh, stop. Let's grab Choice Band. We'll try and whittle down the deck a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to just try and power up Garchomp again. Which is not the way I want to go because it's not been going very well. Um, and then Aura Strike Ugh, for like nothing. A hundred damage with Aura Strike. I suppose that's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six energies, and a choice band. Really, Ugh, all he needs is a choice band to knock me out. Cynthia is going to see him through the end of this game. I'm pretty certain he's going to be able to draw a choice band off of this. And that will be our game. Oh, that's That sucks. Gardevoir, man. Gardevoir is just always good. Okay, maybe he didn't get a choice band. However, I don't think I can knock him out. Because I still need to do... If I even do 100 damage to him. If I do 100 damage to him, then what then? He retreats to Oranguru. Okay. That makes it possible for me to knock him out. But I'm still not convinced that... I, oh no, I can't, can I? I need to Guzma and Cynthia. Do I? No, I don't. I do. Uh, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Stop counting me down. I need time to think. Um, Because I need to grab Guzma off of this and then I need to... What we can do, actually, we'll Guzma up this, right? That's my last Guzma, though. Don't have the energy, unfortunately. We can attach energy this turn. 
I'm not attaching that energy. Let's just... Or a strike. We need to pass it back over. This is so frustrating. We are so close. We're so close. Ah. My opponent was with the knockout there. To be honest, he was pretty safe leaving the guardy in because I don't think I could have knocked it out anyway. Um, because I need to do something like... I need to retreat this for a start. And then I need to attach an energy back here. And I don't play a float stone. So there's no free retreating in this deck. Maybe a float stone is, n is quite nice in this deck, to be fair. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's got the seven energies. If he can retreat Sylveon, he wins the... Oh, wait. Ah, it's so tense. <laughs> he's had to use Cynthia there. If he can't retreat, he's got a wee one! Oh my god, that was so close! Oh man, I felt as if I was just like going with emotions. I thought we were going to lose that game, but we managed to pull it out. Wow! I'm shocked. I'm shocked that we won that game. Woo! Let's try and get another one. Let's try and get another one. Hopefully, hopefully it's as good as that last one. Okay. Um, I've had to skip the last couple of matches because the deck just doesn't want to set up. Um, I'm having a few problems just getting good cards into play. It may just be bad luck. Um, I would like to, I'd like to test it out a little bit more. I think it is a little bit clunky. There's a lot of stuff going on that I I don't need certain cards at certain times of the game. So it may just be the deck is clunky. Either way, I'm going to show this match um, regardless of win, lose, or draw. Because if it clunks up, I want to get you guys to see how bad it gets. Alright? Um, and this will be the last game of the video. Um, obviously, we, we won the first game, so that's fine. I skipped three games there, and I wasn't able to really do anything in those games. So, yeah. Let's move on, see what we've got here. It looked like a Buzzwall deck, which is never great. It's never, never something you really want to see. Um, we are going second, so we will have to take a hit. And I don't like this hand at all. However, I do have the look. I think Gibble I think Gibble is gonna probably go down. Um so let's just do this. And what do you do? What do you do with this hand? This is This sucks. This really really sucks. So it's probably Buzzwall Buzzwall. We see B strings and fighting energies and stuff. Probably Buzzwall. Um All Buzzwall has to do really is start <laughs> and Buzzwall starts very well so Brooklyn L is a nice card to see however that does give my opponent a Brooklyn L. Um, he gets an energy down and a Brooklyn L of his own surprise surprise. Um, what do we want? We want to see like a nest ball would be quite nice or even just drawing it a basic would be fine and we see a puzzle of time not something we need. See this is what I was saying it's all cards we want to see later on in the game that we are seeing like really at the wrong times here. I can actually attach to retreat and then use beacon, which is something I might actually do. Yeah, let's do that. We'll attach to retreat. And we'll use beacon. Unfortunately, all right, so we can get a guard chomp up this turn. Um, with the rare candy and then we're probably going to want to do something like another Ryolu unfortunate turn it wasn't a great turn there um, because I do I'm probably going to want to attach with attack to, attack with Lucario GX next turn so it's a pretty awkward turn he needs something like Strong Energy and Diancy Prism, but because he got Buzzwall there, I'm assuming he doesn't have Diancy Prism access. Gonna Sycamore. And he loses some pretty nice cards there, actually. He loses the B-String, loses a Guzma. He hits another Max Elixir. Does he get the energy off this one? He does not. Okay. Hits the Strong Energy. 
and Ultra Ball is going to help find that Prism card. So he will get the knockout on my Vault. No, he gets Octillery. Maybe it's prized. It may be prized, and that would be a little, like... It would be a little upset for me here because he really should take the knockout on the Alolan Vulpix, but I don't think he's going to be able to. So 50 damage coming down here and 30 damage going on to the Gibble. That's not so bad. So we're going to get our basics down here. Actually, going to be able to fill up the bench, which is awesome. Um, we'll grab another Gibble. And I think we'll grab another Ryolu as well, actually. Three Ryolus, two Gibbles. Nice to see. So that's that's not a bad turn. We will rare candy this in a Garchomp. And I think I'll just beacon again. I think I'll just beacon again. I think it makes sense to just beacon down. Let's grab ourselves a Lucario and a Lily. Although we can get another Garchomp actually. I can still get Garchomp. I can still get Garchomp because I'm getting the Lucario, so that's fine. And yeah, we're a few turns behind. We're a few turns behind, but that's actually not so bad. Um, we're getting the cards that we need to really start setting up. Put on the Okay, so he had Diancy Prism the entire time. So he could have taken a knockout last turn. That's really strange. That was a strange play there um, from my opponent. I would have probably just chosen to take the knockout on the Vulpix, but maybe he didn't want to see something coming up. I don't know. That's a strange one. And a Kuzma, so he's still going to get the knockout wherever he wants it. He's going to put pressure on my Garchomp, which sucks. And he's going to just knock out the Vulpix, I would imagine. No, he's, he's targeting down the Gibbles. Which I don't know if I agree with, but that's what he's chosen to do. Because I can now use Strong Energy. I can use Double Puzzle. Unfortunately, I'm only really looking for one card here. Um, so we'll grab Nest Ball and we'll be able to shuffle that back in. Um, we'll put a strong energy on Ryolu and we'll evolve it. Maybe he wasn't expecting to see Lucario GX. And let's get another Garchomp into play. First we'll actually precog for the other Lucario. And then we'll get our two Lucario set up because that means we'll be able to basically just pick two cards out of the deck every turn. And then we will precog for another Garchomp. And I'm going to just stick with this Garchomp now. The Turbo Assault one I've not actually used yet. But um, in this matchup, speed is the game here. And I can't really afford the turns to set up, I don't think. Retreating to Lucario. And then I'm going to use Cynthia. Get some more cards into my hand. And put back some of those cards. Nice. Okay. So we have some nice cards here. One thirty. Yeah, we'll do this for one fifty, and then that way he has to do something about this Lucario, or it'll knock him out. If he fails to do that, um, I can attach a double colorless energy to one of my Garchomp and quick dive that Buzzwall to knock it out, even if he goes to the bench. So that's something really putting on the pressure here though um, and that is going to be a knockout on the Garchomp and pre he can actually take two prizes here if he wants he could take out the Alolan Vulpix as well um, but it's whether he wants to do that or not no he's putting pressure on the Lucario 90 damage with the GX attack 120, 140, so that's fine. We'll leave that for now. This guy has free retreat. Bear in mind, we still have some puzzles left. We only got two right enough, but with two Lucario in play, we can get the puzzles whenever we want. I'm going to put the Gibble down onto the bench. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to quick dive. I'm going to quick dive this, I think. And we can grab two of any card that we like. 
what do I want? What do I want to see here? We could end my opponent. I could end my opponent, and then that means, yeah, I'm gonna end him. It means that he'll only have five cards in his hand. It takes one card out of his hand, it's something. And then, Super Rod is useful-ish. We get the rare candy, which is cool. I think I'm going to keep that for now, just in case I have to Super Rod next turn. And we'll quick dive this Boswell and take our two prizes. So we're trading really well here. That was a, that was a nice little trade-off. And it means that we can do reasonably good damage with the Lucario with double strong energy. If he chooses to jet punch into that again, that would be that would be really nice, friend. So once this deck sets up, it is actually quite tricky to deal with. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff that he's gonna have to knock out. However, it's still not that we're still not putting out that much pressure because things like this Buzzwell deck, for example, in my opinion, this is the best deck in format, and it really puts on the pressure. It really puts on a whole lot of pressure, and it's hard to come back from. So Guzma's coming down. Guzma probably going to bring out the... Oh, no. Lycanroc bringing out a Gibble, and then he's going to play Guzma, I'd imagine. What are you doing, buddy? Is he just going to jet punch knock out the Gibble? I mean, that's a pretty reasonable play, to be fair. Um, but he's not removing a threat by doing that. And the Garchomp comes out. Okay, so I'm actually able to this turn knock out with Garchomp um, because of the way he set this up for me. Because all I need to do is use Cynthia. If I use Cynthia, I'm doing 200 damage. And... I'll just use the regular energy here. Um, do I have another Gibble in the deck? Yes, I do. We'll get another Gibble down. If, if he wants to knock out Gibbles, I will let him knock out Gibbles all day long. That's fine. Um, it keeps my Garchomps on the field. Um, getting them back isn't doing much for us at the moment. Although that is my only Garchomp. Would like to get a little bit more back than that though. So we'll just Cynthia straight off the bat here. That's fine. But what I might do is use one of my precogs this turn to grab a Super Rod for next turn. Because I do anticipate Garchomp going down next turn. And then that means that Super Rod is in my hand just ready to use. And we'll precog for a choice band. Just try to think of cards that would, in fact, we'll precog for a puzzle of time try to think of cards that would be useful to just grab it in my hand for now even though i don't have any intention in using them right now it's still nice to just have them in the hand and be ready to to go with them so that's another two prize cards for me and now next turn we'll be able to do something like so he has to take four prizes where is his four prizes here here and here really isn't it Trouble is, I struggle to hit 200 damage without Garchomp, and Garchomp will go down here. So I need to two shot. And to two shot, I need to use something like Lucario. It's tricky this. So he takes two prizes, all he has to do now is knock out Lucario. Hi. Can Lucario knock out? Mm, probably not. 90, 120, 140, 160, 180. I'm so close. I can Guzma? Oh no. I can't Guzma. No, I can't Guzma. No, that's fine. Because I've lost Garchomp, I can't now Guzma. Dumb real dumb had Guzma been an option here I would have been winning this game mm. I 
feel as if I messed this up for myself, haven't I? Yeah, I... Never mind, there's no Guzma in the deck. There's no Guzma in the deck. It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, I'm so annoyed. How? Where are my Guzmas? Have I prized both Guzma? Yeah, it looks like it. Um... So Cantankerous isn't taking a knockout here. But what I can do is get ready for another get ready for an aura strike if he fails to knock me out. Well he's not gonna fail to knock me out. He's gonna just knock me out. Dumb. Dumb dumb dumb. And but it's not gonna matter, he's just gonna knock me out. What did he use last turn? Did he just knock me out with knuckle impact? Or jet punch. Uh, Cantankerous is my best damage. I think he just uses whatever he wants and knocks me out. 10 damage off though. That was a good game. That was a good game. Unfortunately, I was 10 damage off being able to take the knockout there. And he's just flexing now. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the win. However, we did get close. We did get real close. What did he knock me out with last turn? He's doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's just yeah, he's just flexing. Two hundred and fifty damage, dude. <laughs> slow down, slow down. Well, guys, here we are. I'm feeling pretty defeated after that one, guys. We managed to sneak out a win in the first game. Unfortunately, we just weren't able to bring it full circle and get another win for the second. Um. Like I say, I've wasted quite a bit of time on this. I was trying to do three video, uh, three games for this one, but ended up having to just scoop three games in a row. And I have other videos I need to record. So I'm going to just cut this to two matches. The deck is good. The deck is fun. However, the Garchomp aspect of it makes it hard. Honestly, Lucario on its own. I found myself wanting to use more Lucarios than I did Garchomps. Even though Garchomp can hit that big 200 damage with Royal Blades, it's still... It's a stage two. It's two energy attachments. It's for things like Gardevoir, you gotta boost it with your strong energies and your choice bands and the, the Deancey Prisms. And there's just so many cards. There's so many cards you need to make it work. And it because you're forced to use something like a Cynthia to get the damage for Royal Blades, then you then can't do something like a Guzma to bring up the thing you want a Royal Blades attack really really frustrating really really frustrating however still a fun deck if you're a fan of garchomp it's definitely one you're gonna to want to play and especially the whole garchomp lucario cynthia thing you know cynthia was the trainer they had diamond and peril and uh, she had both garchomp and lucario on her team and they go well together and it's it's cool it's cool and if you're into that sort of stuff then this is definitely a really cool deck um and you can even see Cynthia in the back there. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. And if you liked, if you like it, let me know in the comments below. Leave me a like and tell me what you think. Um, going to be doing lots more videos. I've got another, hopefully, two videos to record tonight. Although time is really pressing on, so I don't know if I'm going to get them both done. But yeah, I'm going to go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.